I'd like to start off by saying Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahushai, Call Halal Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Akakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. The salutation to you, brothers, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right, I got an article right now. We're going to go into an article. Um, you know, the topic of the video, we are in the time of prophecy, all right? And I, I guess, let me put this on uh, on a do not disturb. But, um, yeah, we're in the time of prophecy, all right? And before I start, let me, uh, let me, uh, Real quickly, let me go into this real quick. All right, because the Lord said he's going to make it make their tongue fall upon themselves. They're spilling the beans. They're basically telling you what they're going to do before they do it. Um, let me see. Uh, Psalm 64 and 8. Alright. Psalm 64 and 8 reads. Sorry, what's wrong with this one? Alright, this is Psalm 64 and 8. It says, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of the Most High, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. Now, this is the doing of the Heavenly Father, all right? Pushing the M, talking about the M, the M chip, the implant, all right? That digital device or d digital tag, all right? And uh, what they're using, the vehicle is pushing the CBDC system, which is which is a, a acronym for Central Bank Digital Currency. And this article goes into it. I was reading a little bit of it. I'm going to read this whole article. Um, if another scripture pops to mind, you know, I'll bring it out. If not, you know, those will brothers are edified. All right. But uh, this article lines up with prophecy. All right. CBDC S are a solution for a problem we don't have. And they want to implant it under our skin. All right. So this is from Exposed News. This is the source. I got this article via Blacklisted News. If you type, I mean, if you uh, tap that Exposed News, it'll go into the article, into their website. It says, speaking about universal basic income, Professor Richard Warner said, you will get 2,000 euros into your account every month. But of course, to run this efficiently, they'll say, we need to use the latest technology, so you need to, you need the CBDC uh, chip implant. All right, Professor Richard A. Warner. So he mentions two thousand euros. All right, this system, all right, is being implemented out of the beast. Okay, you go into the European Union. All right, that conglomerate of of countries. All right, the beast. All right, comes out of that, right? Going back to the seven heads and ten horns, okay? And Professor Richard A. Warnock is an economist and professor of banking and finance. So he's heavy into finance and banking. And what's that's trending? Okay, the banking system and the financial system, all right, because there's going to be a major overhaul to these different systems, all right? Right now, in Maryland, um, we're coming into the time of uh, property tax, and uh, right now, a lot of people, you know, pay their property tax, all right, via maybe checks, okay, or they might... um. You know, I guess they might use their credit cards or whatever, but I know the bank processes these payments, okay, through a lockbox system, all right? And when you go to whatever bank that you have, these banks have different departments called lockboxes, which these different, uh, these different um, institutions, the state, um, you know, you got processing, you know, companies that process your payments, they use the banks for a lockbox system. 
But with this digital system, it makes it more uh, convenient or it more, makes it more accessible. And you're going to put a lot of people out of business. I mean, a lot of people out of jobs, too, because of, of that old lockbox system. All right. They are, um, they are what they're doing is they're going to phase that out. All right. And, you know, they're constantly if you know about the banking, if you know about the banking system, if you've ever worked at a bank, they're constantly changing up their, their software for, uh, you know, um, to process payments. Right? They, they're always learning a new system. OK, you know, it says um, now this guy, uh, Professor Richard A. Warner is an economist and a professor of banking and finance. He is known as the proponent of a new post-crisis monetary policy he called quantitative easing, which that's QE. It says when he proposed it in Japan in 1995 as chief economist of the British Investment Bank, besides experience as senior managing director and senior portfolio manager at Bear Stearns Asset Management. So this guy, he, he, he's connected. He's been in the industry, all right? Bear Stearns, uh, asset manager, you know, he was with the British Investment Bank. He had ties with quantitative easing back when Japan's uh, uh, central bank collapsed, I believe. If I'm not oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, back they had a recession in the 90s. Japan um, had a financial um, collapse in the 90s. All right. It says he has worked as a researcher or consultant at the University of Oxford, the Bank of Japan, the Development Bank of Japan, and the Asian Development Bank. Among others, he is involved in supporting the establishment of not-for-profit community bank through an initiative called Local First CIC. At the Amsterdam Science Summit 2022, Professor Warner gave the lecture on central bank digital currencies and the 2030 Agenda. All right, so this guy is familiar with uh, the the plans that the elites are pushing when they, they mention the 2030 agenda. Okay, Esau Edom has an agenda for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. <laughs> it's called the 2030 agenda. All right, so they, they're going to shape your uh, your life. All right, you think that you're just going to just live like you're going to live. You got another thing coming because Esau Edom has an agenda that he's pushing. And his whole agenda was to keep you asleep. All right. Until he pushes his his uh, new digital system in which we're reading about. All right. And he's going to sell it to you as if it's going to be something that's going to be beneficial to you. But it's actually only going to be a detriment to you. All right. It says at the sidelines of this year's Amsterdam Science Summit, he spoke to Ivor, Ivor Cummings about CBDCs and how and how in high inflation has been orchestrated by central banks to further their agenda. Yeah, because back then you had in 2020 the pandemic. And as a response uh, to the to, to the uh, pandemic, uh, these central banks throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, uh, in a consorted effort all together, which is no coincidence, they flooded their monetary system with uh, 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 paper money, all right? And now you're having inflation because they, they printed... All of that money, okay, and they devalued their currencies. All right, so now we're dealing with inflation. All right, which is a problem because people are spending more. All right, people are working harder and 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 making less. The value of the money, okay, because it's not backed by anything. It costs more. It costs more money, okay, for the same products that you bought two years ago. All right, everything, and when the prices go up, the prices don't go down. And as a response to this, they want to bring in these CBDC systems, which this is nothing but the elites pushing their NWO agenda. It says there are two aspects to QE monetary policies that Professor Warner proposed, QE1 and QE2. QE1 is for the central banks to step in and purchase non-performing assets in the banking system. The central bank buys up non-performing assets at face value and the problem is solved. It, the problem is solved. Banks have a strong balance sheet, but that won't be enough to get banks to increase credit. All right. So Professor Warner proposed QE2, which allows the central bank to force the banks 
to create more money and push it into the economy. This will be accomplished with central banks buying assets, e.g., properties, for the non-bank banking sector. For the non-bank sector, the money the non-bank sector receives from the sale of the property would then be deposited into the seller's account. When an economy is experiencing deflation, that that's how central banks can push money into the economy directly. Professor Warner explained. QE1 was followed by Japan. In the 1980s, but the U.S. disallowed Japan sub sub subsequently using QE2. All right. Yeah. Uh, the Japan I, I mentioned earlier in the 90s, I believe. Well, in the, in the um, in the 80s. OK. Japan had a um, financial collapse. Uh, it says and then out of the blue at the wrong time, QE2 was adopted by the U.S. Federal Reserve and other central banks in March 2020. The intention of adopting QE2 at that time was to cause high inflation. Why? To move ec to move economies onto a CBDC system. So all of this was orchestrated. All right. All of this Esau does is orchestrated. And we spoke about it at the camps. You know, we said this was going to lead to uh, the, the, the MOTB. All right. This is uh, that was a process. The 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 uh, the, uh, the uh, pandemic, the pandemic, and then there was a, a war on cash. You you saw them negatively speaking about cash, all right, as it could p p uh, potentially carry germs and so on and so forth. They deem they basically demonized cash. They uh, there was a time where uh, a lot of stores weren't accepting cash. They was only accepting um, credit payments. All right. It says you have to think of CB CDBCs as a, I, I think it's a CBDCs, central bank digital currency. It says CDBCs as a con, as a control system or a permit system, not a currency. Professional Warner explained. Now this is what he explained. It. This is in quotes. This is what he says. It's a conditional currency based on you actually getting that permit. Now, if you happen to be some kind of critic of government policy or a critic of central banks, this could be difficult. Or if you dare to step out of the 15 minute city zone, you know, that, and that's part of Agenda 2030, the 15 minute city, you know, maybe you'll find that, oh, my CBDC is not working. Of course, these are things we've seen already in China, all right? Because China was a, uh, the, the elites use China as a, a testing ground. It's an authoritarian uh, government. And China uh, uh, implements a lot of policies that the, the elites want to bring to the Western world and that are already gradually pushing on the Western world. It says, there's plenty of videos where somebody tries to use it to buy a ticket and it doesn't work because his social credit score scores are low. Yeah, and we, we see that on TikTok. It says, and effectively, there's no real right to appeal with very few people controlling the very main, uh, the very many, meaning it's uh, centralized. It says the controllers will use computers and algorithms to run the system. If you appeal the blocking of CDBCs, CBDCs, You'll be dealing with autom automated responses, <laughs> right? So yeah, yeah, I do these uh, this app work, and um, you know when you do app work, a lot of times when something goes wrong, you have to go through the uh, uh, system to 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 rectify the problem, and it's not that simple as just dealing with somebody directly. All right. It says uh, Professor Warner, Warner explained that the central planners, as he calls them, orchestrate inflation to cover up changes to the banking systems. For example, in the 1970s, high inflation was orchestrated to cover up the move of the gold backed U.S. dollar to the petrol dollar. And the high inflation we've experienced in 2021 and 2022 has been orchestrated to cover up. The move from the petrol dollar to CBDCs. All right. And hey, today it was announced that the BRICS countries are 
pushing for a central bank digital currency, which is backed by gold. OK, so Esau Edom has to move and he has to move fast with his agenda. So don't be surprised if come this fall, there's something major that happens. All right. As a, a, a cover up or as some type of a event that's going to take place to switch off this current system that we're in with this digital system. All right. Similar to like a, a 911 type event that happened in September. All right. But it could be a, 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 a monetary. All right. It says in March 2020, the Federal Reserve and other key central banks adopted QE2, a recommendation for deflation or a shrinking economy. In March 2020, economies weren't shrinking, but the Federal Reserve adopted QE2 and brought up assets from non-banking forces, forcing banks to create credit. It was very clear it was going to create inflation. This was not an error in judgment. It was intentional, Professional Warner explained. It's a very specific policy that is very rarely taken. Proof that this was a deliberate action, Professor Warner said, was that just before COVID in August 2019? There was a conference in Jackson Hole of annual central bankers conference, but it invited BlackRock, the big asset manager, and BlackRock made a proposal. They said, there will be another crisis, but this time we should create inflation. They never explain why. They just say we must create inflation and there, there's how we're going to do it. So these devils, all right, they took on policies that made the life of the average citizen hard. OK, and not only that, they create these uh, inflationary problems. All right. You have your different local and state legislators, state, state legislators. All right. Don't matter what they're pushing, but they're benefiting because what happened just recently uh, in July, July 1st, they raised the gas tax. They raised it last year, too. And it was a lot of uh, uproar because people were uh, talking about how the, the prices of gas were high and the fact that you're going to add on to the price of gas with a gas tax, a progressive gas tax every year, and it's tied in with inflation, all right? So the, the life of the average citizen is being planned right before them, all right? And it's nothing really that they can do about it, all right? They just got to suffer, okay? And that's what happens since you want to play along with this uh, system, all right? You're going to get what you have, you, you got coming, all right. It says they never explain why they just say we must create inflation. And here's how we're going to do it. And they cite my proposal without mentioning my name, of course. It says, and there's one more factor. Professor Warner said the Federal Reserve hired BlackRock in March 2020 to buy assets. QE, what QE was for a deflationary situation, but the way they were using it had to cause inflation there was no doubt, and they knew it because they even said it. This is in quotations, all right? This is a quote. It says, so this current inflation is entirely intentional, created by the central banks, by the central planners. So how are we going to punish them for this? Oh, let's give them more power. Let's give them unprecedented power over everything, over life on earth, through central bank digital currency, all right? So the bankers, all right, are using the finance of this world to basically control the people, all right? The true reason, I think, why they want this inflation because that is to cover up, essentially, the disintegration of the petrol dollar and move to the new system, which they want to be CBDC-based. At the moment, there's talk about CBDCs being used via phone via phone based apps. Yes, that is the initial phase. But what we we what was already ready around 2015 is the ultimate goal. What they really want, apparently, I was told by a central banker, is CBDC looks like a small grain of rice that they want to put under your skin. 
which is my view, a violation of human dignity. And they realize there is a hurdle to get the people to accept this Professor Warner said. So they're using crises, disruption, and unemployment to introduce universal basic income to soften the public up to accepting a CBDC chip implanted under their skin. So it goes back to the old Hegelian dialectic. I like to mention problem, reaction, solution. Here are the problems. They mention the problems. The problem is the problem is to soften up the public. They want to introduce a universal basic income. All right. The crisis, the disruptions and the unemployment. Oh, also uh, the threat of uh, immigration. OK, the threat of, of safety. OK, they're going to use this to push this CBDC system. All right. And eventually it goes in stages. It will go from your phone, maybe. And then it'll go to a, a digital implant once they get the people onto the system. All right. You will get two thousand euros into your account every month. And that's the enticement. That's what they're going to use to bait you, just like they use to get you people to take the, uh, uh, the, the, the jump shot. All right. They, they, they wanted to give you a hot dog, free, you know, free food, free benefits. You know, you could possibly get a, um, a scholarship. All right. So they're going to be offering you all types of things. Like they said, this is in the Eurozone. But what's going to happen in the Eurozone is going to come over to uh, uh, Babylon the Great. All right. To the whore. It says, but of course, to run this efficiently, they'll say we need to use the latest technology. So you need the CBDC C, uh, chip implanted. OK. And here are some resources um, to give you all resources. They give you some resources about it. But this is a quick article that I wanted to go into. Let's uh, jump real quick to the scripture. Let's jump real quick. Let's go to uh, let's read Revelation 13 and 16 real quick. Uh, Revelation 13 and 16. It says, and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in it in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. And what is the cause? The cause is going to be um, they're pushing this system and, you know, people are going to be unemployed. People are going to be uh, destitute. You know, people are going to be um, in straits in a difficult situation, which is going to uh, entice them. All right. To, to take it. It says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the number of the beast. Or the number of his name. All right, let me jump to Revelation uh, 3 real quick. Okay, because this thing is going to come upon the whole world. Why? Because the majority of these countries have central banks. And these central banks are controlled by the elite international bankers. And they are on board with the CBDC system. Okay? And the next step is to actually put the digital implant with inside, inside of you pursuing the Revelation 13 and 16. Revelation 3 and 10, it says, because thou has kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Now, the hour of temptation is when they put this thing online and they make the make the uh, people get it. OK, at the behalf uh, um, they make the people get uh, this device that this uh, uh, professor is speaking about. OK. And um, if they don't take it, they, they'll be put to death. All right. It says, um, because thou has kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon thee, will come upon all the world. Shall I come upon all the world? All right. It's not going to be a, a country. OK. On earth, that's not going to be a, or a people on earth. That's not going to be enticed. OK. With this uh, digital device. <laughs> it's not going to be a people. On this earth, that's not going to be enticed with this di digital device, this system. All right. Not to mention that this third world's war is going to be brutal. All right. And that's another way that that, that they're going to get uh, you to um, accept it. All right. You're going to see those images and you're going to hear those uh, stories of mass casualties and, you know, the threat of nuclear war. If people don't get down with the system. All right. 
Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, let's see. What is that? Second Corinthians two. Yeah, Second Corinthians two and eleven. It says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." Okay. And um, they'll use this as a way to say you can obtain peace and safety. And you know what the scriptures say about peace and safety. When they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction upon them. Because they're going to promise the people peace and safety, okay, through the implementation of these, C, of these CBDC uh, systems, all right, and this universal basic income, all right. But out in the video here, call hello, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash, double honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to you brothers pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Until the next episode, Shalom.